we've been out here for about 20 minutes using uh, bullhead catfish for bait. A lot of guys don't like bullheads because they swim into cover, but that's one of the key benefits of using bullheads. Is they do go into cover, and when they go into the cover, you get these large predatory flatheads that are holding there. See if you can't get a shot of the fish here. Uh, I see him good. I see him real yeah, good. Let's get him in. Um, he's not caught that well. I don't know. Oh, oh crap. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I know you still have it. It's him. all right. Rock, rock, rock. Let me see. Oh, that fish. Yeah. What is he? Woo! The hook come out. Oh, it's right there. The uh, needle nose. Gotta get this dude, man. That was just barely in there. <laughs> that was not in there. <laughs> I saw it's like, oh, we better get him in. <laughs> that was just barely, barely in there. Water temperature is around 86 degrees. We're using live, live bullhead catfish for bait. This fish actually struck the bullhead on about a five foot flat, going into a small tributary. This is post spawn fish. There's no marks that I'm seeing. Just a nice, healthy, healthy flathead catfish. This is what we're going to be talking about in this video and featured videos. Had a few PMs and had a few phone calls about why the TWC rod broke and what happened to cause the equipment failure. First of all, let me say a lot of rods break, regardless if they're $27 Walmart rods or $360 custom rods. There was two contributing factors which caused this rod to break. The first, the first contributing factor was approximately an hour before I caught that big flathead, I hooked into a snag and the snag was movable. I was playing around in the boat trying to move the snag to the boat to lift it up to see what it was. I've got a hundred pound uh, braid on, I was moving the snag and I was putting the rod under tremendous amounts of load which was unnatural. I believe that was the first point that caused the uh, a hairline fracture in the e-glass. What actually caused it to break was when the flathead was next to the boat. I was I had the drag tightened down all the way. I had the rod I had the rod elevated up to take some of the tension off of the braided line. I was trying to move the flathead in close to the boat to where Gray could get it with the fish grips. The current, the place we were positioned in the river, the current was whipping pretty strong. That flathead opened its mouth up, with, which acted like a parachute, caught a lot of water, and it dove down. When that flathead dove down, something had to give, either the line or the rod. The rod snapped, it held in place, we got the fish in, but there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with TWC rods. All rods break under the right conditions, and I, I pretty much abused this rod to get it to break. <laughs>